Welcome back everybody. Got a little bit of bad news. My corn, my wonderful red sweet corn, which was so lovingly sent to me by Cheryl in Oklahoma, has been attacked. As you can see, we are missing quite a few stalks here. And some of the stalks which remain are strangely nipped off at the top. Look at that. None there. Totally yanked out and eaten. And cut here. I'll give you a guess as to what type of an animal could do this. If you said bull, that would be a very good guess. Well, it's actually the same neighbor's animals, but this time I'm convinced it was a sheep. The uh, couple of sheeps have, sheeps, a couple of sheep have slipped their knots. You can hear them, they're back here in the woods. On the other side in this empty lot, sometimes you'll hear the Bleh! There are some sheep tied up and they got out obviously and came up here at some point and ate about half of my corn. There's hardly any of them that were left alone completely. Some of them were yanked out of the ground and I put them back in before it rained and uh, hilled the earth around them. But this has set them back badly. Plus, in order to save proper seed, you need about 200 individuals, which was about what I had here. And now I don't have that. That's pretty sad, isn't it? So anyhow, I gotta talk to the neighbor. I hate that sort of thing, but yeah, Amerijam Acres. Um, he can tell you about this kind of thing. <laughs> Apparently, uh, on his homestead, he's had very similar problems with runaway goats chewing his way through the food forest. He's had much more in the way of losses than I have, and he doesn't even know who to go and talk to, so yeah, I feel for you, man. Yeah, so here we go. We are back knocked down, and uh, well, I'll, I will save seed anyways, provided these don't get hit again by runaway sheep, but... This is not nearly what we should have here for a uh, proper saving of corn genetics. Uh, you tend to get inbreeding depression over time if you don't have enough individuals. But that's what happens. And I mean, my fence over there, I put in that uh, Glaricidia stick fence. And that, that's very nice. They didn't come that way. They must have come from back here, come over the row of rocks down at the end of the property from the lot where they're tied up and snuck in when I wasn't paying attention. My wife said she heard some bleeding down here one day, but she didn't think anything of it because there are always sheep tied up somewhere around the neighborhood. And apparently these were not tied all that well. So that's it. Just uh, showing you the sheep-based devastation. Yeah, poor little corn. See you next time. Until then, may your thumbs always be green and your corn unchewed.